All right, let's start taking this iMac Snowball apart. This is a 700 megahertz uh, iMac. And um, I've got this nice little tool. This is a uh, little Swiss Army knife that I'm going to be taking it apart with. It's got uh, various uh, attachments, torque screws, and it uh, also has a Phillips. So the bottom of the iMac has four Phillips screw heads that you can quite easily take out. It gets more complicated at, after this point. And the nice thing about the Apple design on these screws is that they actually don't fully come out. They have these little holding clips on them, so you don't lose them. Now here you can see underneath, this is where your airport card would be. Your pigtail would plug in the back of the airport card, and here's your RAM. I removed the RAM earlier. Um, this is obviously a a unit that I've used for other things and it's more of a salvage piece for me. Um, I'm going to take out these uh, torque screws now. There's four torque screws at the bottom. As you can see it simply just fits in, comes right out. It's a great tool. Now ideally you'd also, if you were concerned about um, electrical discharge, you'd have a, a grounding strip on yourself. But this unit has been sitting for a while and um, I'm mainly just interested in recovering the hard drive, not replacing it. But replacing it, it's the same procedure. You simply just remove the four outer screws and now these four torque screws to get at the inside. Here are the, the next layer. And here you can see we have our processor, motherboard, um, another RAM chip, a little battery. Then we have another set of torques here. These are holding the whole carriage in place. So we should probably get these out. Very important again to keep your screws together so you know which ones went where. You definitely want to get them all back in there. You can kind of see at this point that the hard drive is sitting right on top of the drive. These are the two screws I'm trying to work on out. So the ones I pulled out are one, two, three, and four. The other two that I pulled out here are holding in this piece here. And we're gonna have to realign the, 
the video card back, the video connector back here. And so we gotta be careful here. And there's your hard drive. So from here, to replace the rest of it, you would have to simply just pull out the power, the IDE, remove these three, four screws, take those off, pull the drive out, put a new one in. If you wanted to, then you could keep in time with all the screws that we pulled out for the CD tray and basically replace the CD tray by just simply sliding it forward. Also again, unplugging the IDE and the plug uh, and the power and just slide that out. And you can put a super drive in, put a larger drive, put it back together and you're in good shape. Here we can see the fan, video cards. It's really tight construction. Your speaker there on the side. You can learn more about this and other tips at macusersguide.com's help desk or tune in every week to our podcast series. 